Dr. Peters here with Omni Chiropractic. Let's talk about carpal tunnel syndrome and specifically some easy at home tests you can do to determine if you may be suffering from carpal tunnel syndrome. So carpal tunnel syndrome is the most common compressive neuropathy of the upper extremity. It results right here at the carpal bones or your wrist bones and you get numbness, tingling, pain, loss of sensation into the median nerve distribution of the hand. So two of the tests are provocative, meaning they're trying to elicit symptoms. So the first one is just the hand elevation test. It doesn't get much easier than this. You're just gonna place both arms up in the air and you're looking for a recreation of symptoms after two minutes or under two minutes. So that would be a positive test if you get that pain, numbness, tingling, in through the median nerve distribution of the hand in under two minutes. So I'm not gonna hold my hands up there for this whole video, but that's what we're looking for. You just kind of place both hands up in the air and this is looking to see if a positive hand elevation test is suggestive of carpal tunnel syndrome. So the next provocative maneuver is actually failing. So if your carpal tunnel is in through here, we can kind of talk about closing that down. So if we kind of do this Phalen's test, we put the back of our wrists together, we can rest our elbows, or we can do a standing and here we're looking for a recreation of symptoms numbness tingling loss of sensation pain and the median ner nerve distribution of the hand so we're going to hold that for 60 seconds um, those are provocative maneuvers they're looking to recreate symptoms now the last test or more a sign is called flick sign so if you find yourself kind of waking up and kind of shaking it out extended computer use, waking up at night and you kind of flick it out like that, that's a positive sign. So that's something that we ask about um, with a thorough history to determine whether carpal tunnel syndrome is a potential cause. So those are three at-home tests that you can do to better determine if you're suffering from carpal tunnel syndrome. And then our history and examination will kind of rule out some other stuff such as cervical radiculopathy or median nerve irritation, maybe at the elbow, shoulder, or neck. So let me know if you have any questions, um, be on the lookout for another video on some treatment for carpal tunnel syndrome. Thanks.